Okay. So this one, yeah, we're doing some Huey. Um, I've tried tweaking with the settings again. We're going to do a little crop and zoom so we can kind of get rid of those weird wonky outlines and the borders and so on. So, yep. Yeah. This is the good old UH-1. You know, the big old slug. So, <clears throat> for some of you older people that uh, know this machine, you might get a kick out of this one. I've got the throttle and the collective bound as separate controls so that they can be adjusted accordingly. Okay. Hydraulics up. Fuel on. And push and hold the starter. We're going to wait for 40% in the gas producer. You should see rotation at around 15. And there it goes. Still holding starter. EGT is good. And releasing starter should sustain. It does. Reset our master cautions there. Get a little wibble wobble. Close doors. So everything is stable. I'm going to go ahead and roll up the throttle. Get us up to 100%. Okay. All good. External power's on. Anti-collision. Let's turn these on steady. There we go. Okay, generators, bring those up. There we go. Set our low and high on the radar altimeter. And there's our F-18s coming back. Okay. Panels clear. Okay. So up in the top corner, what we've got is a little indicator of our cyclic and collective position. We don't want to swing it around too much. Don't want to have a tail strike. But um, being that this is a spring-loaded joystick, it's much easier to fly if we actually kind of offset it a little bit and then lock in a force trim and rudder pedals, of course, as well. We're going to put on just a little bit of left pedal, and we're going to lock that in as trimmed. So now we're kind of neutral on the stick. And let's see how bad and ugly we can make this part. Go ahead and start raising collective. A little wibble wobble there. Where that F-18 go? He's over there, so we'll give him a little clearance. I didn't put any armaments on this one, so no rockets, no miniguns this time around. Huh? Go and 
hold short right here for a sec. So if you actually watch the stick up here, you see that we're, it's always moving, just little movements. So dancing with this thing. So what do you think? Um, standard takeoff or do we do a uh, max performance? Say what's the, uh, it's only 20C outside. We could probably pull some pretty good power on it. Oh yeah, the uh, gun sight, reflex sights. Let's go ahead and we're, we'll put a little bit of oomph into this one. So we'll go ahead and pull up and max out the EGT. earlier from when we were um, messing with the A-10 these guys over here that we were shooting at so there's that Hawk and that Avenger system right? the AA-7 APCs Let's head toward the town. Mm -hmm. Some IFR, right? I follow roads. Yeah, we're up at uh, 90 knots. Now, if you ever to get uh, vertigo in VR, this is how you do it. <laughs> Flying NOE under virtual reality goggles. So, yeah, if you've never done VR before, that's not the way to start out. <laughs> See if you can pull this up to a I'm going red line there in the EGT, so it's a little much. Back that off a smidge. Let's see if we can try to pull it to 120, but I don't think we're gonna get that out of with it with today's weather. Hop over these trees here. Let's go see what the what's over at the cranes. A yeah, little construction site. Hmm? See if we can find a spot. To, well, hey, we, we can park it just about anywhere. Oh, let's grab that spot right there between those buildings. Right in there, huh?
some wires on the right. It's almost like I've been flying this thing for a day or three, huh? <laughs> Redline the EGT a little bit here and get out of the over these trees. I don't know if I've seen this before. I don't know if there's any buildings in here at the moment that have uh, landing pads on top. Speaking of trains, sweet. Chase some choo choos. It's electric even. Where's he gonna go? Reverse, okay. He's like, we're just gonna back it out of here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll park it here. And we'll call that a video.